Hey guys, so the wait is over. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make your wigs. This is the most common method that I use. There are a few others that I will show you in the future, but this one is the hot glue gun method with a lace frontal. So the items you will need is a hot glue gun, glue sticks, not this many though, your spandex cap of choice, I already have mine on. I use a canvas blockhead size 21. I'll have it linked below. So I decided to purchase a new hot glue gun because my Old Faithful is kind of messy. This is the lace frontal that we will be working with. Full review on this hair will be up in a few days. It is from AliExpress. I'll link it soon as it's done. So the first thing you want to do is take some T-pins and pin it down to the cap best you can. And then you want to tie the hair up so that it's not in the way while you're sewing the closure down to the cap. Some people do hot glue gun their closures down to their caps. I've never tried that. You definitely can. But I just prefer to... Sew mine down and then glue the bundles. So make sure that you use as many T-pins as you need to basically secure the frontal down to your dome cap. That way you can get it as flat as you can so that you do not get any lumps or bulks. And then just use your regular sewing um, needle and thread for hair and sew it down. I'm sorry you guys cannot see, but I had diamond running everywhere, and I just couldn't figure out how to get it on camera because I am a lefty and I was kind of doing it backwards. So you really can't see close up, but I promise you the next time I will make sure that you guys can see close up how I sew. But it's just loop and pull, loop and pull, loop and pull. Very simple. Also, sometimes you'll get like halfway through sewing your frontal down and you'll realize that it's a little bit bulky. Don't hesitate to remove the T-pins and readjust because you would rather have it flat over having it be lumpy. So if you see it like two spaced together and you know that you're going to be making it lumpy, just pull out the T-pins on the other end and make it as flat as possible because it happens to the best of us. So I did not cut any of the lace off of my frontal. You can if you want to, but I just don't find it necessary. Now that we're going to start on the bundles, take a T-pin and secure the beginning of the track. Go around and measure and cut off the excess of the bundle and begin hot glue gunning. So this hot glue gun did give me a little grief, you will see throughout. This was a brand new one as I showed you and I should have just switched over to my Old Faithful but I was just so adamant about using this new hot glue gun. After you glue down that track, don't forget to go back to the very beginning of it, remove that T-pin and secure the other end with a little bit of glue. Now we're going to get started on track number two, repeat the same exact process, secure this front with a T-pin. Measure out as much as you need and cut off the excess. Here I'm going to show you that I was not too fond of this new hot glue gun and I like the old one better. But of course I still was persistent about using the new one. Lay down I'd say about an inch or two of glue and then lay the track on top. Don't pour too much glue because it does dry really, really quickly. And don't forget to go back and secure that front. Track number three, same process. As you can see, I am laying the tracks pretty close together. If you are using less hair, you probably would want to space them further apart in the back because that's where you will not be able to see it. Lay about two inches of glue, lay the hair on top immediately after, and keep it going. Go back to the front and secure that front piece as well. And now we're ready for track number four. Hopefully you guys are getting the hang of this. It's very, very, very simple. Placement of the tracks does not matter as much in the back as it does in the front. As long as it is flat, 
Also remember that the hot glue does double as a sealant for your wefts, so you don't have to worry about doing the flip over weft method and not cutting your tracks because they will, I guess you can say shed less because of the hot glue. New track, same process. I'm trying to be as detailed as I possibly can because I really do want you guys to learn from this tutorial. Be sure to leave any comments you have and I will make sure to respond to everyone because I do want you guys to be able to take away from this and learn how to do this because it's very easy. The hardest part is getting the frontal down. Once you get the frontal sewed down, gluing this down is a no-brainer. I think this is track number six. And it's just the same process, glue secured, glue secured. Don't put more than two inches of glue. What will happen if you take the glue around all the way and then try to secure? By the time you get all the hair on top of it, the ends will be dry and it will not stick. So I think we did about six tracks um, with the first bundle. Now we're on bundle number two. Secure the front and get started on the next track. Measure out as much as you need, cut the excess, glue secure, glue secure. Now I do find from watching my own tutorial back that when I run my finger on top of the glue and it touches, that's when it gets messy. So if you can avoid touching the glue after it's applied, you won't get all this white um, glue, but you can always just pull it. Once it dries, just pull the excess glue and it comes right off, and I'll show you that in a minute. If you pay attention, you'll see how I touch it and then the glue like goes everywhere. If my finger would have never touched that, it would have never happened. Just a tip. So with this next track, I did space it out a little bit more. Just out of fear of not running out of hair because I only have one more bundle left. And because of placement, you will not be able to see the cap through my unit once it's done. I promise you. I did mess up here too because I did kind of get crooked and go at an angle. So take your time and pay attention. I'm showing it here. You can barely see it on camera, but to me, it was a big difference. If you do place a track and it's crooked or a bunch of tracks and it's crooked, it's not a big deal or the end of the world. Just take your time. If you get tired, take a break, which is what was going on here. By now, I'm tired and I'm dealing with diamond. And I did edit a lot of him out because he was all over the place. But as you can see with this next track, I'm trying to fix the crookedness so that you don't see it, if that makes sense. And secure the front. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm trying to figure out how I want to secure the rest since I only have a few more left. And I decided I'm still going to go at like a U shape instead of going straight across. Glue secure, glue secure. The glue's pretty hot. If you have a low tolerance to pain, it does kind of burn, but not like to go to the ER burn or you're not going to need a band-aid or anything like that. It's just a little bit hot, so don't touch it if you're afraid to get um, a little heat on your hands. And again, any glue that you see that's like hanging off, once it dries, just peel it off and it comes off super easy. Now I'm going to take the tracks and pretty much go straight across for these last, I believe, like four, three or four tracks that I'm going to place. Cut off the excess because you don't want excess hanging. That'll make the unit appear a little bit more lumpy. Now we're on our third track and we only have, I think, about maybe four more tracks to lay. At this point, I still kind of wanted it to go in a U shape. So that's exactly how I apply the glue. 
as well as the hair on top. So I think I'm going to be done using the T-pins after this and I'm just going to go straight across, measure it, lay the glue and lay the tracks on top. This whole process takes me about 25 minutes, 30 minutes max. It's very quick, very easy. I know that when I first started, okay, here I'm showing you that I'm going to go straight across for the last few tracks. No T-pin needed. And again, this process is very quick. 30 minutes max and you're out the door. If you're very slow with sewing, I know when I first started out, I used to take all day to sew. Okay, here, I laid the glue and it took me too long to place the track. So instead of placing it on a dried up glue, I went ahead and let the glue dry. And as you can see, I was able to remove it very easily and start over. So anytime you let the glue dry, let it dry completely and remove it and start over. Don't go on top of dried glue with more wet glue, if that makes any sense. Next track, just measure it, cut it, glue secure, glue secure. Cut off the excess and on to the next. Cut, glue, secure the hair on top, glue, secure the hair on top. I think by now y'all get the drill. Cut off that little bit of excess because that makes a big difference in a flat unit. Again, just take your time. I've done this probably about a dozen of times and it's still, as you can see, not perfect. Over time, you will find your own technique and what works best for you, especially because everyone has a different head shape. So what works for me may work for you or it may not, or you may have to tweak it a little bit, but just go with what works for you. I believe this is the last track and we're done. Yay. Only 30 minutes later. Pain free, right? Make sure that one is down really good. And finito we're done so now that your unit is complete you just want to go around and pull off any excess glue hanging around you know expect your work and make sure that everything is popping now before you get to styling your wig take it off of the canvas head grab a pair of scissors and remove all of the spandex that is underneath wherever you sew down the frontal so that you can actually see the lace on your hairline here I'm showing that I already did bleach the knots. I have a tutorial on this. I'll have it linked below. And this is what she looks like. If you are a beginner, I recommend that you pluck your frontal on a flat surface before you even sew it down to your wig. But after it's done, of course, you can go back and customize it even more. This pretty much completes the tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to comment and let me know if you have any questions. Here I'm showing you what it looks like on. Um, I did go with a nude cap for the very first time and obviously it's too light. I did order them from Amazon and I have them linked below. I also ordered some brown ones and those did look much better. So if you are interested in those, I have them linked below. Be sure to comment below and let me know if you guys are interested in a tutorial on how I slay my wigs. From customizing the hairline, plucking, tweezing, blending all of the hair together and styling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Smooches!